SketchUp 2025 is finally here, and inside, you'll find a big new feature called Photo Real Materials. Whether you're an architect or designer, or you just love creating in 3D, stick around and we'll dive deeper into how Photo Real Materials are going to transform the way you visualize your SketchUp projects. As you already know, SketchUp is great at helping you design and visualize your projects quickly. But let's be honest, when it comes to client presentations, what you can get out of SketchUp often looks pretty cartoony and unrealistic. The folks at SketchUp are looking to fix that. New in SketchUp 2025, they've added photo real materials, which are materials that feature more realistic looking reflections. Here's how they work. First, there's a new photo real face style that you can enable in the styles dialog. Also, there's a new environments dialog where you can choose a background image that will drive the reflections you see on your materials. And finally, when you edit a material, you'll be able to find and adjust the new photo real properties. Ultimately, these properties control how the material reflects the environment, which adds a level of realism to your materials in SketchUp. And right away, you can see how much life you can breathe into your SketchUp models. Also, SketchUp has created libraries of pre-configured photo real materials. Some you can find in the materials library, while a majority of them are on the 3D warehouse. You just use them like any other material in SketchUp, only they already have their photo real settings fine-tuned for you. And if you're familiar with PBR maps, you can add your own, making it easy to create custom photo real materials. Plus, you can create custom environments by importing your own HDRI or EXR files. Oh, and probably the coolest feature of all, if you don't have PBR maps for a material, you can click on the sparkle icon and SketchUp will use AI to generate and load custom PBR maps. If you're familiar with realistic rendering, you'll know this is a game-changing tool that you can hardly find anywhere else. Now, it's important to note that these new features are not a replacement for full-blown photorealistic rendering software. There are some limitations to how realistic things can look, such as reflections that don't take into account the surrounding 3D model, and the lack of a refraction for glass and liquids. However, if you want a massive visual upgrade without the learning curve of photorealistic rendering software, photoreal materials might be a dream come true. They're also perfect for early design stages. Even if you plan to use realistic rendering software later on, the adjustments you make to your photoreal materials can be leveraged by other rendering tools. Now there's a lot that goes into learning how to use photoreal materials, not to mention some pros and cons that you should be aware of. That's why we created a video that dives deeper into photoreal materials, and I've added a link to it in the description. Of course, there's so much more to know, not only about photoreal materials, but everything it takes to create professional visualizations of your projects in SketchUp not to mention all the other new features in SketchUp 2025. And while it's definitely possible to learn everything on your own, if you can't afford to waste time or pick up bad habits, then I recommend checking out our video course library. It's filled with $8,700 worth of SketchUp courses exclusively for professionals, including courses that cover photo real materials and other rendering tools and strategies. Head over to our website at sketchupschool.com and try our courses for free. And if you're not ready to take one of our courses just yet, I recommend you take a look at this video next to continue on your path to learning SketchUp. So what do you think? Are you excited about photo real materials? Or is there a feature missing that you hope SketchUp adds in a future update? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. And until next time, happy sketching!